Exact a trifecta wagering. Number one is Fox Valley Bypass, owned by Lloyd Arnold of Hartley, Delaware, trained by Tex Motes. Tony Morgan is up. Number two, TJ's Eddie Mack, owned by Terry and Judith Benison of Galba, trained by Ray Hanna of Altamont. The driver is Dave McGee. Number three, Fox Valley Tsunami, owned by Tony Alanya of Sherman, Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman, and Harold Carter of Williamsville, trained and driven by Tony Alanya. Number four, Take Me Home Big Daddy, owned by Larry Greger of Villa Grove. He's the trainer. Steve Halford II will drive. Number five, Silky Victory, owned by Ed Kalman of New Berlin, by D.K. Bartlow of Augusta, trained and driven by Rushville's Danny Moore. Number six, Can Sam, is owned by Jerry and Helen Logan of Coffeyville, Kansas, trained by Jerry Logan, Rick Schrock in the bike. Number seven, Little Man Alex, owned by Harvey Eisman of Flint, Michigan, trained by Irvin Miller, Andy Miller will be the driver. Here's number eight, Mystical Deal, owned by Buddy Simpson of Fairfield and Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, trained by Dirk Simpson, Mike Osting, the driver. And number nine, whom you just saw on the monitors, Fox Valley Roper, owned by Kay Willis of Beecher, also owned by James Jesk of Crete, Lawrence Hyberts of Crete, and Kenneth Faisal of Crete, trained by Nelson Willis, Dale Heitman is in the bike. This division of the Isoba series with trifecta wagering is four minutes from post. Twelfth race. They're off and pacing. Fox Valley Roper for the lead. Mystical Deal is there. TJ's Eddie Mack flashing speed. And Fox Valley bypass toward the inside, followed by Take Me Home Big Daddy, who gets away racing in fifth. Mystical Deal moves up from the center of the track, gets the lead. Fox Valley bypass is there toward the rail in second. TJ's Eddie Mack is third toward the inside, around the first turn. And then Fox Valley Roper, who settles in the fourth position. Little Man Alex is racing in the fifth spot. Take Me Home Big Daddy is next, and there goes TJ's Eddie Mack. 28 and 3 for the opening quarter. TJ's Eddie Mack goes to the lead and opens up by two and a half lengths, heading on to the back stretch. Mystical Deal is next, then Fox Valley Bypass. Fox Valley Roper, Little Man Alex is fifth. Take Me Home Big Daddy is sixth. Three more lengths to Silky Victory in seventh. Can Sam is moving up on the outside into eighth, and Fox Valley Tsunami is ninth and last. At the halfway juncture, TJ's Eddie Mack leads it by one length. Mystical Deal is second, the half in 58 and three. Fox Valley Bypass takes to the outside third. Fox Valley Roper is fourth as they enter the final turn. Then Little Man Alex, Take Me Home Big Daddy, followed by Can Sam. Back up front, TJ's Eddie Mack leads it three parts of a length. Fox Valley Bypass inching forward into second around the outside of Mystical Deal, who's locked on the rail in third. Fox Valley Roper is fourth and moves cautiously to the outside. Two lengths off the lead. Little Man Alex about to come three deep from fifth, four lengths from the front. Three quarters and 128 and four. TJ's Eddie Mack has controlled the tempo. He leads it by two. Fox Valley bypass, then Little Man Alex, followed by Mystical Deal toward the rail. Here comes Little Man Alex chasing after TJ's Eddie Mack. TJ's Eddie Mack by a length. Little Man Alex trying to get him, but TJ's Eddie Mack has enough left in the tank. TJ's Eddie Mack wins it by three parts of a length. Little Man Alex was second. Ten more lengths back to Mystical Deal third in 156 flat. Terry and Judith Benison of Galva, Illinois. They bred this two-year-old son of Armbro McIntosh, trained by Ray Hanna down at Altamont, driven by Wisconsin native Dave McGee to the win in 156. Five wins and eight starts on the year. This colt was not nominated to the Illinois State Fair Colt Stakes. Neither was Fox Valley Jacob, who won a separate division of this Isoba series earlier today. And that's one of the benefits of having the Isoba series at the Illinois State Fair. Sometimes when it's time to make those nominating payments in the spring, an owner or trainer might feel a colt isn't quite up to par, and they are reluctant sometimes to make that payment to the Illinois State Fair colt stakes. But if you're not eligible to go to the big race, if you're an Illinois bred, 
And if you can pony up the entry fee, you're eligible to go to the ISOBA, and it pays off with wins like in this case. Here's TJ's Eddie Mack, Dave McGee with the winning drive. Two seven eight is the official result for that twelfth race. Let's talk to co-owner Terry Benison. Terry, Galva, Illinois, first of all, is located where? About halfway between Rock Island, Moline area, and Peoria. All right. TJ's Eddie Mack. We were just talking about the fact that you talked to trainer Ray Hanna this spring when it came time for that $300 nominating payment to the Illinois State Fair Colt Stakes. You decided to pass. Was he just not that kind of colt at that time? He really didn't know what he was doing the 1st of March, so it was getting pretty close. So we just elected to let him grow up. Sometimes those two-year-olds are kind of like us human beings. It takes a while for them to grow up. But this Colt has, and he's at the State Fair in the Isoba. He's a winner. Terry, I know you've had a lot of fun, you and your family, with this Colt. Congratulations on the win. Thanks a lot, Kurt. Terry Benison, folks, he's our winning co-owner for this afternoon's 12th race.